Hello and welcome to part 3 of MuleSoft Certified Developer Level 2 Practice Test Question and Explanation. Before I proceed, do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. So the question that we are going to discuss in this video is uh, what is the result if a non-text based payload is uploaded to any point MQ? So it could be something like binary payload if it is uploaded, is uploaded to MQ and the options are the MQ converts it to a string before sending it to MQ. Uh, the option B is any point MQ puts the binary file into the queue without conversion. Uh, the option C is any point MQ converts it to JSON object before sending it to the MQ. And option D is any point MQ generates an unsupported format error. Now, out of these four options, let's see the options which are uh, which you can uh, discard straight away or which cannot be applicable to the uh, question in context. So for that, I'll uh, uh, first uh, discuss about option C, which says that any point MQ converts the JSON it into a JSON object before sending it to MQ. So now here we have to understand one thing is that if this would have been CSV or XML payload, then we could have converted into a JSON object by converting it to CSV to JSON or XML to JSON and we could have sent it to MQ. But as the payload itself is a non-text based, hence there is no way of converting it to a JSON object. So which means in current scenario, this option we can uh, straight away discard. Now the other thing is option B uh, which says that any point MQ puts the binary file into the queue without conversion. Now though this is something that can be done but uh, practically if you put the binary file as it is into uh, queue then it can cause havoc to different applications when they are processing that data because as you know the non-text based payload or binary uh, file contains many special characters uh, which can we can badly impact the servers or applications which are processing the data on this any point MQ queues. So this option is never the preferred one and hence we can discard option B as well. So that leaves us to two options. Uh, option A which says that uh, any point MQ converts it to a string before sending it to MQ. This uh, sounds reasonable as uh, any point MQ also has uh, many REST APIs uh, uh, to which if you can pass the data as a string, it could be very simple and easy uh, approach to be used. And option D is any point MQ generates an unsupported format error. Uh, this could also be the correct one, but we need to check whether any point MQ generate this kind of error or not. So let's go to any point MQ documentation and let's validate on these two points before we conclude the correct answer to this question. Just a quick heads up, if you are planning for any Mule certification exam, then do check out this amazing practice test on Udemy which are created by my friend Rutuja. She has created practice tests for all MuleSoft certification exams and all questions comes with detailed explanations that helps you to clear your exam in first attempt. You can check reviews and course description. All the links are provided in the description. Not only that, you can also get amazing discounts with the link that I have provided in the description section. So I am on this uh, any point MQ connector reference page uh, which contains this four operations or uh, the reference manual for, for these operations which are part of any point MQ connector and if we go to any of the operation for example if I go to consume operation so here if I scroll down it shows what are the different errors that can be thrown by this consume or publish operation. So you will notice here that no way it says that unsupported format error. It says this consuming error, connectivity, timeout, retry, exhausted but you will not see anywhere that it mentions that it will send it will uh, send that unsupported format exception. So which means that uh, any point MQ sending unsupported format exception is definitely not the correct uh, answer for the question. We can also see the publish operation. So here also if we look at uh, the exception it throws it, it will it has publishing connectivity illegal body destination not found and retry exhausted. So that clearly says that uh, the option which is related to unsupported format error is not the correct one. Now that leaves us to the last option which says that 
any point mq converts it to a string so let's check if that is true or not so i am on this any point mq overview page and i'll go to faq of any point mq because that is where we can clearly see it mentioned and we will scroll down and we will come to uh, we'll come to the this question which which is which talks about the payload size max payload size supported in any point mq but uh, the answer contains the thing which we are actually looking for so you will see here it clearly says that if payload contains any other format than csv html json or xml then any point mq converts it to a string before sending which increases the payload size so here we can see it clearly mentioned that it converts it to string Hence the correct answer to the question is any point MQ converts it to a string before sending it to the MQ. So that's it in this video. If you find this helpful then do press the like button. You can share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next part of this series.